Hey, how's it going everybody? Extreme Metzer here and welcome to the new video. So as you remember from the last episode, we made this Onyx amulet and to make it into a Fury amulet, we have to enchant it with level 87 magic and right now we're at 78 and if I would get up to level 82, we could boost it with five levels using spicy stews and then we can enchant it. So that's the plan right now. So I figured the best way for me to train magic right now would be to burst manacle monkeys and uh, I unlocked them while doing the Monkey Madness 2 quest. So I guess we'll just have to gear up with the best magic gear we got. Okay, so we got everything we need. So this is the gear setup I'm going with. Uh, I found this to be the best I got. So we got the Aram's robe top and the staff as well. Uh, first I was going with full mystic, but then I remember that I got the Arim's ones. And also the Farseer helm is better than the mystic helm. And we have casts for almost 2k casts, so we'll see how much XP we'll get from this. Hopefully it's somewhat close to 82, and otherwise I can alk something in the bank later. But uh, hopefully this uh, will get me up pretty high, otherwise I have to maybe like do barrows or something for more runes. Look at this man, <laughs> this is crazy, there's so many monkeys here. So this is going really good, I'm going to get back to you guys at level 82 because there's no point in me recording any levels between because this is going by really fast so look at this man look at the xp drop okay 166 that was maybe not the best but 244 and sometimes it's up up almost 400 even and it should be like yeah i'm not sure if 170k xp per hour is correct there but it should be somewhere close and also they are dropping so many prayer potions, uh, so I won't run out of them at all because I'm almost full inventory right now and I didn't even start with that. So I'm going to continue on doing this and get amazing amounts of XP and uh, come back to you guys with 82 magic. Alright, I think this is the last hit and we get level 90 hit points. Looks great, man. I, I get like 100 hit points XP every time I cast the spell, so it, this is also very good uh, HP XP. Alright, I actually ran out of runes, so uh, I, I ran out of death runes, and I'm pretty much uh, running out of chaos runes as well. So I think the only thing we can pretty much do right now is to do some more barrows as to get more runes, and also we can get uh, XP while doing it, because... Yeah, I still need to get a few death runes though, because I'm fighting the Barrows brothers with them, so... But it shouldn't be too much of a problem, and I really want to do Barrows as well, because there's so many drops I still need from there, so... Uh, we're gonna teleport away from here and go continue on doing Barrows. First chest, let's go. It should be 151, I think. Alright, we start off with the decent runes, that's good, so... Uh, well, that's the, pretty much the, the plan of this, so we want to get the runes as much as possible, and also... Hopefully some items. So that's good. We're gonna do... Uh, I think we'll actually do up to 200 because uh, I want to get uh, a few barrows chests done anyway. And I'm gonna awk while I'm doing it. So we'll see if I can manage to do, it, to do that. Alright, so I kind of ordered the items a little bit here. And it seems like we have two pieces of the Arim's outfit, two pieces of the Carol's one, and two pieces of the Darok one, and also three pieces of Torag and uh, only one piece of Guthan. The only one we don't have any piece of is Werak, which is kind of sad actually because that's a good set for wilderness bosses. But uh, hopefully we can work on that in the future and we're gonna continue on doing it right now But I just wanted to show you guys so you can see what we're kind of going for uh, Only one piece of the Torag's outfit and we got full Torag probably one of the worst ones, but hey, what do you do? Oh look at that we got a elite clue scroll and that's on barrel chest 154 so I always seem to have other clue scrolls in the bank and I actually do have a hard one so let's go complete both the elite and the hard clue all right so uh, I got the elite and the hard clue done but okay not the elite one since I need to get a dragon spear for that and if you don't know the dragon spear can only be obtained as a very rare drop from yeah like pretty much anything uh, I can uh, hope to get the dragon spear in the future so I can complete this step but otherwise I wouldn't I don't think I'll need it actually but i guess for this reason it would be good to get it but we got least but at least we got the hard clue and let's see whoa man that's like everything all blue and stuff there we finally go man we are how many chests uh, so that's 20 chests we've done and we got the arim's robe skirt it's worth a lot actually 1.9 million and that is a unique i know that Yes, man, that's very good. That's very good of a drop. I'm really happy with it. So it seems like the only piece we miss now from the Arim set is the Arim's hood, so... Alright, man, look at that. We got the Torex plate body on chest 181. So, man, it's not worth anything almost, but that's a good one because that's a unique one and it will go very well with my Torex legs. So we have the Arim's robe top, the Carrier's leather top, and the Darok's plate body, and the Guthans plate body. The only one we don't have is the Varax one, so I guess that's good. 
My mic is so far away, but yes, there we go. We got the Darox Helm on chest 184. Oh man, it's so freaking exciting when you get a drop. And this is also a unique one. Man, we're getting a lot of drops from Barrows now lately. All right, we should get to the level. There we go. Finally, we got 82 magic. Uh, it's only three more chests to go, and then I have a 200 in total. So I'm going to do them first. Chest number 200. Let's see if we can get something. Well, nothing. Okay, so we got a lot of runes, death runes. I have a lot of them in the bank still. And also chaos runes, as you get a lot of them when you do this. But uh, all right, with 82 magic, let's go get ourselves the boost and uh, enchant the Onyx Amulet. I actually got the boost. Let's see now. Boom. What? That was a kind of weird animation. Oh, it was so quick, man. It, it already drained down to 86, but uh, yes, look at that bad boy. I still had to go with my Hell Kitten here, chasing these rats, and it's awful doing it with the Hell Kitten. I think it's like uh, the chance of actually catching a rat is like 1 in 10 or something, so this took forever. Let's wear it, man. I worked so hard for this freaking amulet and it's a really good one. As you can see, melee strength like crazy and prayer and also all of these attack bonuses. So it's going to be very nice for Slayer and uh, that's what we're gonna start doing right now because we wanna really... Because right now in the bank I don't have anything man. I'm really running low on all the all kinds of supplies and money and uh, like ruins, nature ruins, everything. And we still wanna keep on doing Slayer because we wanna upgrade our combat gear because uh, I would like to get the Abyssal Whip and also Dragon Boots which I can get from the spiritual creatures. But there's still one thing we want to do, and uh, I want to go down to that Sahar place once again and buy a pair of obsidian plate legs, because they will also give me a little bit melee bonus. And uh, yeah, we can buy them with Tuckle, and uh, as I forgot in the last episode when I bought my Onyx, if you use the Karamja Gloves 1, you will actually lower the price with like 20% or is it 10%, so that will be worth it, because uh, yeah, it can cost quite a bit. But we're gonna have to go down to the tower place and see how much it actually costs, because I don't remember, but uh, I think we have enough money for it. So here we got the plate legs, and it seems like they are 87.1 thousand tuckles. So that's no problem. We have to only sell like the chaos runes to the rune shop, and then we should be able to get the tuckle needed. I actually ran out of all the chaos runes, but uh, we got it at least. Obsidian plate legs, boom. There we go. Let's see. They look kind of cool, actually. Man, look at that. Is that like some kind of scars, or why do they have that in the armor? I guess that's just cosmetic, but I, I don't see the point in why you have them split there. But anyways, let's see. It should give me some bonuses now. So I'm gonna take these off, and... So it's a little less defense bonus than the rune plate legs, but it gives only one melee strength. But I'm not sure if it's worth it, but we're gonna rock these until we get at least the dragon plate legs. And uh, yeah, they give that melee strength plus one, which can be helpful. And uh, we're gonna do a really long slayer grind here, so I guess why not get the best gear I can have for now at least. But <laughs> there we go. But I'm gonna go gear up with the best equipment I have, and uh, we're gonna go get a slayer task. Hey man, look at this. Uh, this is our new setup. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. So we're pretty much missing the dragon boots right now. Yeah, of course if we could get the whip that would be a upgrade. But otherwise I'm pretty happy with this setup. Quite a bit of bonuses now and a 111 strength bonus. But anyways, I already have a task of fire giants. So our goal would be to get up to 83 slayer. Because then we could get the spiritual creatures and kill them. And then they can drop dragon boots. So I guess that's the plan. Let's go grind out some slayer. Alright, it went past really quickly, but there we go, level 97 strength. I guess we're gonna go straight into 99 now and not change to attack or defense. Okay, first time getting a slayer task from Dorodel here in Shallow Village. So, this guy is supposed to like give better tasks and also like the higher amounts of monsters you need to kill as well for each individual task. So, uh, so let's get the first task and that's 240 necrols, man. It couldn't have been better. And that's 240, man. That's so many. And I think this is actually the best task that I can get right now. So actually for Necreals, it's actually a demon type of monster. So we're gonna use our Arc Light because it hits harder on demons. And also we're gonna use and charge it with all the ancient... It's supposed to be able to hold up to 10,000 charges, but that's good. So we're gonna use this Arc Light on this Slayer task. And uh, I'm gonna go to the current Catacombs and uh, see if I can kill them there. Otherwise I'll do it at the Slayer Tower. But uh, as you know, in the, the current catacombs, I can get the, more of those ancient shards and also pieces of the dark totem. So. so I kept all the items in my inventory. I have to bank sometimes, so I banked the seeds, but I didn't really get any extra seeds or anything. But, but as you can see, all of these runes are from this guy and also all the coins. So we're gonna have to price check this quickly because these runes are quite expensive, actually. So soul runes, chaos runes, blood runes, man, look at this. 
Yeah, that's 1.2 million in, I guess, the main drops. And I alt everything now. So that's 850k in cash, which is really, really good. Hey, I got a task of blue dragons. And I'm killing the baby ones. Because I didn't want to bother killing the big ones. Anyways, uh, we got 82 slay right now. That's uh, really good. So one more level until we can kill uh, the spiritual mages. Which can drop uh, dragon boots. So so that's kind of my goal right now. We're going to get up to 83 slayer. So we can kill them for the dragon boots. And upgrade our gear once again. Because uh, yeah, I like this setup man. But I would really like the dragon boots as well. Going with this outfit. So I got a medium clue from uh, my Dagonet task. And uh, I actually had to make some snakeskin shaps and stuff for this. So it took quite a while to complete it. But here we go. Reward, a black leprechaun hat and three anima daggers. What? How can I get three of them? That's so weird, man. That has to be like very, very rare to get like three anima daggers. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I guess that's super rare. That's a bummer. Anyways, another casket. Got a hard clue from my task. Let's open it, boys. I will get like fire lighters and the rune dagger, man. Why is the dagger back? I don't want daggers. Shitty clue, man. That was 15k hard clue, man. That was, that was terrible. Hey guys, I got a task of Kurasks and look at this King Kurask over here, man. Looks freaking crazy. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna extend the uh, gargoyles as well. And I also already extended the necrols. And uh, is there anything else we wanna extend here? I don't know, man. I I'm not sure at all, really. I'm gonna think about it a little. But uh, anyways, that's good. We're gonna get a new Slayer task. And uh, let's see what it is. Boom. Cave Horrors, man, I actually don't enjoy these at all, but uh, I guess we're gonna do them. Give me something, man. Alright, let's see. What? No lag. Oh. Never mind, nothing. Hey, I got an interesting task, Fossil Island Wyverns. Uh, I have not done this before, so we'll see if I can do it. So uh, we're almost finished with the task. So uh, it seems like it's pretty easy killing at least these long-tailed wyverns. Uh, there's also ancient wyverns and they are combat level 201. I didn't try to kill them right now, but if I get the task again, we'll do it. Because uh, I kind of like notice it right now that there are actually ancient wyverns and I only have eight more to kill. So I figured I can try it out later. All right, guys, we got the clue. We even got the helm. Let's do a bump. Boom, there we go. Let's open it, come on. And uh, I guess, man. Hey, would you look at that? I'm doing my birdhouse run and I got an elite clue scroll from a nest. All right, I got the elite clue scroll and uh, there's one step. I need to craft multiple cosmic runes from a single essence. And it seems like I need level 59 rune crafting for that. Because at level 59 you can craft two cosmic runes per essence. But for now we're gonna keep it in the bank because I wanna get to level 83 Slayer before I start doing rune crafting. So I guess that's going to be for the next episode, but for now, we're gonna keep it in the bank and get a new Slayer task. Alright, the first time I'm killing a marble gargoyle, that's the superior version of the gar gargoyles. And we get a 10k drop of coins and some gold bars, I guess, man, these are hard clue casket incoming. Let's go, boys. Boom. And, uh, oh man, look at that. That's almost like the ranging set and uh, the basic melee set, man, that's cool. I'm happy about that. Decent ox. Hard clue casket coming up. This should be the end. And uh, yeah, let's open it, guys. Boom. All right, some rune and alcohols. Sharks, man. I don't need more sharks. Thank you, anyways. Let's go. Would you look at this, guys? We are getting really close to our next uh, mastery of a skill. I don't know, man. Level 98 strength. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. So we're only 1.2 million XP away now from a level. I will definitely get 99 strength until I get uh, the 85 slayer I need. I seem to get like a clue every task I do. But anyways, let's open a hard one. Boom. Of course I missed it, but we just got 83 slayer. And uh, this means now that we can kill the spiritual mages. Let's check it out. So yeah, spiritual mages. And these can drop dragon boots and I can kill them in the God Wars dungeon. And uh, I guess we're going to go there, but I want to finish this Necrol task first, because I don't bother just gearing up and kill a few. Okay, it's 181, but anyways, I'm going to finish the task first. Alright, so there we go, level 91 hit points. I actually think I got the uh, combat level. Yeah, I'm 107 right now, so that's cool. Uh, one more hit points level. I guess the nothing extra happens, but it's always good getting those levels. And uh, yeah, I want to show you guys 107 combat as well. I got a hard clue reward. Let's open it, boys. Boom. Oh my god, finally a rare item. That's the Samurai page 1 and a Gothic Scoif. I'm gonna be honest, man, I don't think I have a Gothic Scoif. This can actually be a good item if I go to the God Wars dungeon. I don't know, but uh, the Samurai page 1, I have no idea at all which pages I have because I haven't gotten one in so long. Man, if this is a duplicate now, I'm gonna be pissed. It shouldn't, no. 
No, it's not. Yes, that's good. All right, so we should have everything we need and we don't have to bother about our stats draining now since we built that fireplace earlier. So I geared up with Saradomin Chaps and also I have the Samurak Blessing over here. So it should be all we need to be able to fight these guys and don't be attacked by everything else. We're gonna try. So as you can see, yeah, these Saradomin guys won't attack me and also... Yeah, these are Samurak and I guess these are Banders or something, but I'm not gonna bother going around them too much. So we're gonna kill these spiritual mages and I guess we're actually going to climb over that bridge over there. But when we cross that bridge, we, all our prayer pots will be drained. So I'm gonna fight these spiritual mages over here first until I drained all my prayer, then walk over. And then I can repot and uh, just try to prayer flick them. But we're gonna go ahead and start fighting these guys. They shouldn't be too hard to kill, honestly. And uh, I guess we have to pray some mage, but okay, so this time we don't even have to because he's attacking the werewolf, so we don't even have to bother about anything. No fucking way, man. Man, are you serious? I killed- how many have I killed? I killed 14. I killed freaking 14 mages and they're the dragon boots on. I have to pick them up now before they disappear. Holy shit. They were like 400k even, so uh, that's kind of a decent drop actually. I didn't even kill all the- I didn't even drain all my prayer potions to go over the bridge and uh, Man, are you kidding? <laughs> are you kidding me? We got the dragon boots. So these are my upgrade in uh, the gear as well, cause they give a melee strength, let's see, 113 I used to have with the rune boots. That's 115 and also they add some more defense bonuses. So these are a decent upgrade, looks pretty cool as well. Man, are you serious? I'm so happy right now, that was very lucky of me. I guess they're only like a drop rate 1 in 120 or so, but I didn't expect them to get them this early. I'm really happy about that, man. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I, I thought this would be a crazy grind, but anyways. Alright guys, we're gonna wrap up the episode here in Camelot. So I guess, look at the outfit, man. I'm kind of in the... Like, the only thing I'm missing right now is the whip and I would look pretty damn cool. And also, of course, I could upgrade the dragon boots later to primordial boots and also the legs to like Bandos legs. And uh, yeah, all of this stuff. But this is really good gear now for my levels, I guess. And I'm really happy about how much progress I got done in this episode. So we actually enchanted the fury. We got ourselves the obsidian plate legs. And also now we got the dragon boots. And uh, we're really close on getting the next level 99. And I guess that's going to happen in the next episode. Because uh, the plans of next episode is to work on Slayer. And we want to get up to 85 to camp out for the whip at the Abyssal Demons. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. And also... Uh, right now I'm working on a goal of getting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and we're at 900 something right now and we're pretty close and uh, the biggest goal of my life would be to get 1,000. Nah, I don't know man, but uh, it would be cool if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like as well and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!